Today we kick off our Manawahine series here on Sunrise, featuring women who have made an impact in Hawaii and continue to do so. Kumu Hula Puanani Alama has been teaching students for nearly eight decades. Lacey visited her Kaimuki studio and has her story. Puanani Alama says Hula was always her calling, going all the way back to when she grew up on Liliha Street on Oahu. She was born in 1930 and was the youngest of five siblings. They always pick, select me. Don't ask me why they select me, but they always do. There's always teachers that's about would say, you, come over here. And I would go over there and they said, do you know how to Hula? I said, mm-hmm. She attended St. Teresa School for several years, but decided to leave so she could pursue what she called God's given dance full time. I practically danced for every group there was in Hawaii at that time. Before she was even a teenager, she became a professional hula dancer and a kumu hula at just 11 years old. I always felt I was the branches. The older people were the, the, the trunk of a tree. So I want to make sure my branch looked real pretty, so I'm going to work towards it. I was never satisfied just being a regular hula teacher. I wanted to be an, an utmost hula teacher. Then in 1954, after years of teaching for other kumu, she opened up her very own studio at 75 South King Street. A symphony, a star. 2019 marks her 78th year of teaching hula. That's the longest ever recorded, according to the Hula Preservation Society. Mupuanani is also the last surviving judge from the very first Mary Monarch Festival. It all started with a phone call from her dear friend, hula master, Uncle George Noope. Uh, he wanted Lokalia Montgomery, which was the first one of the first judges, and she's in heaven. He wanted Iolani Luahine, so, and then me, and then what did I think of Catherine Maunakea? And I said, well, you know, she's from the old school. I would go that way too. Throughout the years, Kumu Puanani has been honored with multiple awards for her dedication to the culture and arts. In fact, she and her sister Leilani Alama, who was also a legendary Kumu Hula, have had multiple proclamations naming days in their honor. You don't expect it. And when it comes, it, it just feels like, oh, I did the right thing then, you know, by doing this and doing that. Because you don't, you never stop learning when it comes to Hula. You go on and on and on. You want to you want to make sure that when you teach, you, you're you're the best there teaching. Auntie Fuanani is 88 years old. She still teaches classes here at her Kaimuki Hula Studio four times a week. Now there is no elevator, but that definitely won't stop her. I can walk now. I couldn't walk at one time, and I walk with a cane, but I could still hula. Yeah, and I can still teach it. That's important <laughs> to watch it to teach it. Her daughter is Ikumu of Hala Hula Laniola in California, and her granddaughters also dance. Kumu Puanani's legacy is being perpetuated with each precise step, each graceful hand motion. I'd like whoever decides they want to teach the hula, that they would teach it from their hearts and to become very good, not just at that time, but to love the hula with all their heart, soul, and mind. <laughs> Look at that smile. So fabulous. Very contagious. All right, so Kumu Puanani also sings and plays instruments. She's unstoppable. <laughs> it's hard to imagine now, but she says teaching was scary at first because she wanted to do everything right. Yeah. And she certainly has. Yeah, very yeah. awesome.